Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Taurus. How are you guys? Taurus, see what your energies are. Oh my gosh, that's wanting to come out awfully quick. Taurus, Will-O-Wisp, Spirit of the This one actually came out first, I believe. Look at all that blue. So... There's some kind of movement here, so I feel there's treasure in the shadow. So something's kind of hidden. So this is about discovering something. Someone's about to make a move. Uh, when I see this, it often tells me that uh, someone's re not only are they ready to move, but they're in very they feel drawn to this situation and they're ready for this adventure. But they're they're wanting this to be successful. So I feel like there's treasure. I mean, they could be successful too. So, I love these two cards together. <laughs> All right, sorry, my computer screen went black for a moment there. What does Taurus need to know? Yeah, so I see Joyful Muse. Now, somebody's feeling inspired here. So there is an energy. I feel like you're going to have fun with some, and it's entertaining. But it is a muse, so it could be something temporary okay, or short-term. But I do feel there's some sort of inspiration because someone's feeling inspired to make this move. There's something hidden in the shadows, treasure. I mean, it could be anything. We'll see how that goes here. Yeah, the Garden of Venus. So it's a definitely an energy of, of um, love, rest and renew. So somebody here is taking a little rest and they're uh, ready for something. So it looks like someone had something that was short term. It wasn't successful. I feel it was maybe a lot of fun. But I feel there's been some kind of a break here. So, yeah. And it could be just taking a break. It could be a trip or something. But someone wants to discover things. They want to know things. And there's treasure, I feel, about this person more than likely. Or they want to discover you. Yeah, so someone here. Now, the balancing on one foot is... Now, to, to me, this is like a combination energy of temperance and the hanged man. So it's an energy of someone who's definitely trying to stay balanced. But this is someone kind of checking things out, you know, looking at things from a whole different perspective. Because someone's taking a break, so they have a different perspective. But I do feel it's an energy of this person trying to stay balanced. Yeah, someone's got their eye on you. Like I say, they've likely been checking you out. <laughs> you know, and it's funny. I mean, this generally, it means something temporary. But for some reason, I feel it's just someone feeling inspired. I mean, I'm seeing joy, uh, entertainment, having fun, and an adventure. So you know, this is likely someone who wants to spend some time with you. But I mean, just in case, like I say, check this out. Look at things from different perspectives. If it feels right, you might be interested, but it's about what their actually intentions are. And they could be feeling that way with you. So what is the spirit of the river about? Yeah, so we have somebody who's definitely feeling bold. Yeah, I mean, I think this person would be fun. Like uh, you can see here, this is a, I mean, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag or you know, Scorpio is definitely a lot of watery energy here too. You know, win or lose, this is someone coming in. So there's, this is someone, and it could be someone coming up with an idea. Uh, I feel someone wants to do something with you. They want to spend some time. They want to get to know you. But it is someone who has taken a break. So they have, I mean, it could be where you've been on a break where something was kind of short -term. Somebody deciding now they want to move forward. Yeah, something to do with the house and a home, a celebration, music, maybe a musical event or entertaining. Maybe they're a musician. I see that too. So, wow, this person's full of adventure. I mean, they. it looks like they're kind of planning something here, planning some kind of get-together maybe. But th this is a win-or-lose situation. They want to be successful. So I see this as somebody pretty determined here with that king of wands. I mean... You know, they could be anyone. They could be just in this energy. Whoops, I got these cards upside down. There we go. Let's have a look at Garden of Venus. Yeah, look at that. As soon as that come out. Yeah, there could be some kind of travel. This is someone feeling really bold. They're like living in the moment. So it's an energy of travel movement. They could be from another community. But look at the balance and the harmony. So it's about doing something right. Harmony. This could be somebody who's moved on from a relationship. They've taken a break. little rest healed. healed but... 
you know, just letting it go, calming down. It could be somebody here, like it could be all kinds of energy, but it's an energy of moving into calmer waters. This person's reflecting on something and taking a leap of faith. So they could be an Aries. They don't have to be. I see Libra. It's just an energy of someone being bold, you know, and they, like I say, they're, I see harmony, balance, justice, doing something right. So it could be someone didn't treat someone right. Maybe it's this person. I don't know. Um, but it could be, like I say, some kind of rest and renew energy. Ready for something new. There's love here. I mean, it's Venus energy. Beautiful. It's like I say, it has to do with someone's intentions. Yeah. What is this? Per I mean, it's a person taking a leap of faith. Choosing their battles wisely. They've thought things through. So I see harmony and balance. They're decisive. They're taking action. Yeah, but you can see diff they have, it's somebody who has a different perspective because they've taken, they you know, it's a healing, rest and renew, ready for something new. This is someone who's probably moved on for a committed relationship here. Interesting. And then, oh my gosh, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is this person's intentions is to um, connect, I feel. They're, I mean, this is a person who's stable, so I do feel there's treasure. You're going to get some truth. <laughs> this is somebody here, you know, a little pause introspection going, aha, a little revelation. You're probably going to know who this is and what it is they want. Yeah, this is someone who's been preparing or it's telling you to prepare, to be ready. Yeah. Interesting. I, I feel like this is a person who's, you know, you can see they're looking at something here um, from a different, pers from a certain perspective. Could be a point of view, but I love this energy of being very calm, very calm kind of energy. Uh, this is somebody here who's, I, like I say, they're kind of getting ready, preparing themselves, a little head and heart decision here by the looks of it too. But it's also an energy of someone who's patient. They've been very patient. And it's a definitely that there is, there is a healing energy. So this is someone I feel just ready or getting ready. It's possible that maybe you connect with somebody it didn't go very well. Um, maybe it was something short term. They could be coming towards you again because now they've healed and gotten over a situation. But it's all about the new. They're focused on new. So tell me more about this temperance energy. Yeah, seem to trust your intuition, your inner knowing. So I feel like you probably know who this is. By the looks of this, I would have to say yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't, It's possible you don't, I mean, but I feel, like I say, they're stable. It's about partnering up now. It could be going out for dinner, but I see this person, I'm seeing joyful muse, having joy, a party. There's a reason to celebrate. It's like they're preparing and planning, and it is, I feel it's a secret. There's something they're keeping to themselves, but... Like, I feel like you already kind of know this is happening. You can probably feel this because it feels right. I think you're going to go for this, too. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Now, this could be other things. It, I mean, it could be work, travel, somebody traveling for work, maybe a musician. Could be somebody you haven't seen in a while coming to your town, coming to see you, to your community, uh, maybe to a place where you socialize. So maybe it's something you've been wanting here. <laughs> Waiting patiently for. Tell me more. Let me grab this other deck here. Ooh, this is, looks fun here, Taurus. They're definitely bold. They're charming. I think they're funny or they're talented, like some kind of talent, a musician, joyful muse. But yeah, it looks like it's something that isn't, wasn't long-term or is because I feel they're coming towards you, traveling. Yeah, just going for it here. Yeah, look at that. Oh. You are the, you could be the masculine, you could be the feminine here, to be honest. So, um, in fact, I'm seeing a little Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone just, you know, this is somebody waiting for someone to reciprocate. This is somebody here who's, you know, being kind of patient, tempering their emotions here. <laughs> or it's tempting if it is someone coming in. If this is a musician and they travel, they're on the road. Yeah, I just got to, I don't know why, but there's the celebration, but I see a house and a home, something about home. It could be somebody who wants to visit. Tell me about this King of Wands. There we are. Yeah, so yes, this is someone who ended something. 
You see, something that wasn't successful or there's the end of something. Like I say, if they travel for work, maybe they don't need to anymore, but there it is. The start is something new. Every ending has a new beginning. This is someone releasing baggage or burdens, taking responsibility. It's an energy of being reliable. I actually feel they are, but if they weren't, maybe this is why something ended. Someone wasn't reliable, but there's new. So some of you may have ended something with someone else. You may have another person coming in. I wouldn't be surprised. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. We'll see if another masculine ener energy comes in. I mean, I do see some Libra, and I do see um, Pisces, which maybe is yourself trusting your intuition. <laughs> you may have that in your chart somewhere here, if you are the feminine energy. But yeah, let's see what happens here. Taurus, Taurus. So why is this Ace of Swords here? Yeah, so, see, so someone just tempering the passions, emotions, just being calm. It's a little test. This is someone going to test the water. So it does look like it's something that ended. This could be somebody wanting something new because of the renewal, release and renew. Someone's letting, letting somebody has ended something. Oh my gosh. Now this is often sometimes a person who moves and relocates. They're selling a home. Someone's preparing. They could be selling their home or they're in a temporary residence. Oh my, my. Um, what is this Elder of Wands about? We have the moon. So this per Elder Wands, sorry, it's a habit from another deck, but they are mature. They're older. Um, I mean, they could be in their 20s, but yeah. But this is something that's being kept a secret. See, something's a bit of a secret. It's hidden. So I feel like, I feel there's something might feel off. Maybe it's, this is going to feel a bit confusing. I feel a bit confused by this reading, but there are some things that feel very clear. So tell me about the moon. A little cancer energy, Scorpio. Yeah, what's going on? It's a little Leo energy too. Tell me about this moon energy. There we go. Yeah, so this is taking something to the next level. So it's like two people have come apart and two people coming together. I notice somebody wants you to move in together or relocating, moving to a new location. I mean, it could be somebody who's selling their home. Often the death card with the, uh, the home is often someone selling the home, buying something new. But it, I do see this as someone who has a lot on their plate. They might maybe work in multiple jobs or something. But often this is just someone laying down their burdens. It's taking, starting, see, taking responsibility. But if you feel this is as somebody who, I mean, this is positive. I mean, it's an energy of becoming more reliable. So maybe something ended, ended something with someone they weren't or, you did, and it's about something more reliable, something more stable. But it's definitely an energy of responsibility. Tell me more about temperance. Yeah, so somebody who's definitely single energy. Someone looks out for, see something, it's a someone here just, it's a little bit of a test. Somebody's going to test something out here. So, I say it's a little bit of a test to see. This, I mean, it could be someone around you in your neighborhood wanting to approach you. This is often my checking someone out wanting to approach them energy. So I don't know. You got a neighbor who's a musician. Is there always a party going on or <laughs> something's hidden? There's some, you know, but I feel it could be confusion, illusion, um, something here. But it's also, you know, it's popping into my head and I don't associate this with it often, but it's like somebody's dream, a dream home. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who's decisive. Oh, this person's an emperor. Or you ended something with this person and you have somebody more reliable coming in. It could be yourself moving on, relocating, coming apart. So just take it how it resonates. But wow, this is looking good because I see stability, financial stability, feeling safe and secure. See someone's intentions. They got their eye on you, your eye on the prize, you know, the... You know, stability, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Tell me about this 10 of, 
Yeah, very good. See, that's the curious person. But it's somebody learning something. They want to know something. They're checking things out. They want to know. This is somebody who, you know, is there. I mean, it's a person who often chooses their words wisely, but it's a person who um, tries to. I mean, a page doesn't always think before they speak, but, um, you know, it's an energy of this person learning something. They want to know something. I don't know whether it's curious where you live or it's just somebody moving into your neighborhood. If you've ended something with someone else, maybe you're curious about this person. Yeah. If you got Pisces in your chart or Cancer, you very well may. Or Scorpio. <laughs> but I don't feel like you're the... The energy's here. I mean, unless you've ended it with someone and you got someone new. But yeah, I see this energy of being patient, just kind of waiting. So I feel like this is something you're waiting for. It's about it coming to fruition. It's like you can feel this coming. Tell me more about this emperor. This is someone decisive. Very decisive. Yeah, they're looking for clues and answers. They've been spending a little time alone looking for clues, checking things out. See, they're curious. So they're shining a light on something. So there's some sort of clarity. So it's them that has to do with this clarity. Now, this is somebody who's been on a specific path. Maybe they've been on the road working or the path in their life they've been on. Somebody who's been a bit of a free spirit. They could travel a lot. But is that adventure energy, you know, the spirit of adventure. This is often someone who's a free spirit. This is someone, it looks like somebody wants to settle down here. Because, I mean, they're looking for clues. They're going within and they're kind of having this little aha moment. So there's something they know. Maybe they're just trying to find out if you're single. If you are, I feel this person's heading your way. And if they've been keeping a secret, it could be because they're an emperor. Yeah, look at that. As soon as I said it, out come that some sort of shock or surprise or something they're finding out shocked that you're single. Or something to do with moving and relocating. They're trying to find something out. I mean, they're shining that light. They're looking for clarity here. So Taurus. I mean, this could be a Taurus masculine. You could be interested in somebody who's a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. A little Sag energy, which is just energy, but it's an energy of someone who's often a free spirit. But this is someone kind of calming down. It's like I feel they want to settle down. They want to settle down is what it's telling me. They're having some sort of revelation here too with that tower. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, see, putting on the brakes, taking another look. They, they're they determined for this to work. Like this is determined. You can see this is somebody, like I don't know if this is someone finding out or you're running into this person that, you know, it's like they put on the brakes, they come to a screeching halt here. It's like, wait a minute. Now they're really curious. So I don't know. It could be someone new. So interesting. And I'm definitely liking what they see. Uh, somebody who often, you know, drives down the road and all of a sudden their head spins around, you know, like, who's that? But it, they're either, they're probably in your neighborhood you know, they're manifesting, see, gathering up tools, learning something, making sure they have the information. They're looking for clues. So they're, they're just looking for answers and stuff, you know, all this curiosity. So, yeah, they're ready to manifest. They're ready for something new. They have everything they need. This is a person who has everything they need but love, you know. So I'm definitely, but I do see other things in here too, especially the travel, the work. But this is someone who's kept something to themselves, something secret or hidden, like I say, or they're just confused. This is what I, you know, look at that, opportunities coming in fast. So this is probably somebody who wants to know if you have other opportunities, but you see this is, this person's in a hurry. To clear, they're in a hurry to clear something up or before you start something new. So yeah, I say rest and renew, but if you've healed and you moved on, you're ready for new. If you are the feminine energy, I'm liking this. It's funny because they're the the only energy really. Now, and I do see someone with Virgo in their chart. So, I mean, that could be yourself because, you know, the hermit can be anyone in hermit mode. So, but I, I feel, got this masculine. There, there's, this masculine has a lot of fire. Uh, you know, there's somebody who's strict, disciplined, very logical. So they like to kind of gather info. They like to make sure they know you know, what they're doing here. 
So there is going to be a communication. They're going to be thinking before they speak, though. There's no doubt. They'll be careful what they say. Something to do with travel, yep, and an opportunity, an invitation. They may want to go on a trip. Somebody here maybe just needs a break from work, and they may want to just take a trip here. It could be that simple. But there's this opportunity with this cup, or they see this. Yeah, look at that. It's interesting here that this is coming after. Yeah, there it is, Taurus. This is their lifestyle. It's time for change, change of lifestyle habits, the way they conduct themselves. So they're offering this cup. But yeah, it's definitely someone who's you know, moving, relocating, or taking a trip, traveling. They want to see you. This is somebody who will pick you up, take you out, take you home. You know, if it's just like a date or something. But I feel like it's something more serious for some of you. This could be a nice restaurant, but it's often a home. But we also have a house and a home here. This could be a, a you know, a nice cozy home. This could be, like I said, there was almost like this dream home. Someone's been planning, preparing, something to do with, I feel like you're about to get something special here. There's something cool going on with this person and all this planning and preparing. Yeah, and it's saying you're probably not going to see this coming. Yeah. Everything you could ever want. Like I say, I, as soon as I said that dream home, um, there's something to do with a dream home, a, a very nice home. I don't think you're going to see it coming because maybe you're focused on something else here, like reflecting on another situation or it's yourself who's ended it. But like I say, it could be a masculine Taurus though, you know, dealing with a... Uh, feminine energy, but I still feel like there's still that Virgo energy too, which is interesting. Yeah. So yeah, it's about someone receive, waiting for someone to reciprocate. I feel this feminine energy here is somebody definitely wanting love. I mean, is somebody there could be some sort of forgiveness, maybe because this is often the somebody here didn't reach out or you didn't you didn't hear from this person for a while. And you're about to go off on a new path, and then this person suddenly reaches out. So, you know, this is someone very generous. Like I say, I'm not kidding you, very generous. Um, but I also feel yourself being generous with this person. So this is something that I feel that some generosity may be paying off. Maybe you were kind, compassionate, and generous to this person. I feel like you, there's something more than just a person here. Um, I mean, this feels special. I really see this dream home. But this is someone letting go of a situation that no longer serves. But I feel it has to do with a house, a home. It's not big enough. It's not you know, It's not comfortable enough. It's maybe not in the safest neighborhood. Because it's someone who's, you know, it's stable. It's safety, security. But boy, like I say, it's the eye on the prize here. So I'm loving this so much. Yeah, I definitely see this as someone, you know, taming the beast, being patient, being really confident here. They feel this pull. They're, they're drawn. And there it is, checking things out. So now it could be somebody who's done a bunch of, you know, the magician is often someone with tools and they have skills. Somebody with a lot of skills. Maybe it's somebody who's fixed up their home, you know, a humble home into something more of a dream home. Maybe they want you to come and check it out. And they're going to invite you to check it out. Especially if that's one of your skills is, you know, maybe the house, home, decorating, creativity, I feel, because that's that muse energy. Oh, my. I like this for you. Take what resonates here. I'm going to grab a couple of moonology cards just because sometimes the readings are a little broken up pieces of information. So... Yeah, someone's leaving the past behind. Yep, yeah, there it is. As soon as I picked up the deck. So it's somebody who's, yep, yeah, focusing on positive too. They're very positive. And I see someone being, yeah, unleashing their kind to self, which means someone very generous, being very kind. See, this is, I feel, if you are the feminine, you were kind to this person and you were generous with them, or maybe you helped them out with something. It's going to be, it's coming back to you. <laughs> that, that's also that freedom card. It's just like the six of wands. When you set something free and it comes back to you, <laughs> the free spirit person, did you go your separate ways? Did you, were you understanding and let someone go off and do what they needed to do? Because if that's the case, they're coming back. 
Like I say, uh, being in alignment. Uh, the stars could be in alignment here with this person. Some of you too, it may have been felt like star-crossed lovers where you can never seem to connect. But I feel like that's not so because something you were wanting, you feel like you weren't getting and now you're getting it. So beautiful. One more card for Taurus. Yeah, so there's going to be a conversation. Speak the world into being. There's going to be this some sort of conversation. They're going to tell you something that they've been keeping secret or they're going to show you. I wouldn't doubt if this is someone who's fixed up their home and they're preparing it and they want to commit. They want to live together, move in together. I mean, it could be a little overwhelming. It might be a little fast. So, because often this is getting emotionally emotionally overwhelmed being so generous it's too much too fast uh, especially if you don't if you don't see it coming and it's you know you least expect it so and that's what happens with stuff like this you know but little gemini energy it's funny because i was talking about the manifesting with someone who has all the tools see the tools the skills this is i mean somebody who's a good person they have good morals and values so it looks like some sort of commitment to something or someone going to show you how committed they are by doing all this for you. So there's going to be a conversation. Like I say, two people putting your heads together, see? Um, talking, speaking, uh, and making it be. As they say, so mote it be. Wish you the best, Taurus. <laughs> really feels good, and we'll see you soon.